Welcome to podcast number one from chapter 11. Chapter 11, which is Introduction to Genetics, this will be the Punnett Square uh, chapter where we're going to learn things about genotype ratio, phenotype ratio, dominant, recessive, codominance, etc. It's going to be a very challenging chapter. You want to make sure that you are working on all of your assignments and studying for your tests. They're going to be quite challenging this time. But our first podcast actually covers something that we've already gone over before in chapters 12 and 13. We're going to talk about what is a gene. First of all, let's just review the basics of DNA. Remember that DNA contains the code for making proteins. And if you can remember the central dogma, DNA to RNA and RNA to protein, and remember that going from DNA to RNA is transcription, and from RNA to protein is translation. Remember that proteins control all of the chemistry of life, and everything that occurs within a living thing is done through chemistry. And remember, the most important function of a protein is an enzyme. And remember, enzymes speed up chemical reactions by lowering the activation energy. So remember, when you have an enzyme, you should think of things like a substrate. This is the item that an enzyme works upon. And then you also want to remember things like the active site. This is the place on the enzyme where the substrate will fit. So remember, the shape of a protein determines its function, and that's nothing more obvious when it comes to substrates, active sites, and enzymes. And that's just a review of chapter, tw uh, chapter 2, chapter 12, and chapter 13 stuff. Remember that DNA is made out of base pairs, Chargolf's rules, A pairs with T, C pairs with G. So remember, A to T, C to G. Remember the sequence of A's and T's and C's and G's determines the construction of a particular proton. I'm sorry, protein. And remember, when we're talking about this stuff, we're dealing with codons. Codons are three base pairs in a row. And remember, one codon uh, creates one amino acid. And an amino acid is the monomer of a protein. Okay, so actually, let's just get rid of that. One amino acid. So one codon equals one amino acid. Let's get rid of that there. Right. Just a review, previous chapter that we had. And then finally, DNA is inheritable. You get it passed on from generation to generation. So all the DNA that you had, that came from your parents. All right, genes and chromosomes. What is a gene? A gene is a segment of the DNA that codes for a particular protein. And you may have noticed that that rhymes. So remember, one gene equals one protein. Some genes just simply code for RNA. So in that case, the one gene equals one protein doesn't apply. But 95% of the time, it does. One gene equals one protein. So as you can see here, in this segment of DNA, it has the codons for you know whatever protein it would be. Genes are found on a particular location on a chromosome, and this is called a locus. And if you look at here, LOC, LOC, they have the same root word, and it simply means location. Now, as we can see here, this is a typical um, chromosome. This little pinched-in area right here, that would be the centromere region. And you see these little dashes on here? These are particular places where some genes would be. And as you can see here, this gene right here, its location is this gray band right there. So gene A's locus is this particular spot right here. Now, when you get to study some more advanced genetics, this shorter arm here, this would be called the P arm, this would be called the Q arm, and they would get numbers. And so this particular gene would have a an address like your house would be. It would be like 8, 2, 1. Uh, it'd be like, let's see, you'd probably refer to it as this like, um, chromosome 2, Q, 221. Now, that would be its address, and that would tell the researcher that it would be on chromosome number 2, be on the Q arm, and maybe the location 221. There's a certain sequence that goes to it, and it's actually pretty simple. Right. That will conclude the very first podcast from this chapter, starting you off soft and sweet.